Yo, you are now rocking with C.A. Brown. We're in the building with FTY Studios. You are tuned in to the King's Testimony Vlog Part 2. You know, when I got the news about uh, King Von, you know, it touched me in a way. Just because we just lost uh, another Chicago rapper who was his uh, quote-unquote op, uh, FBG Duck. And you know, I enjoyed the music of both of those guys. So it really touched me to see them both lose their lives in such an untimely way and in such a violent way. You know, it, it touched me, it, it hurt me. I liked Vaughn, Vaughn grew on me a lot. You know, I didn't, I didn't really uh, begin following him till later just because I don't really tune in to the drill. It's drill is not really uh, what I listen to, you know, but uh, I seen I seen a lot of uh, potential in Vaughn. I think he was on his way. I think it's uh, distasteful to say the least. You know, the lack of respect for human life that uh, the young generation has is very uh, disheartening. You know, when I watch it, you know, it, it's almost sickening to me. You know, I, I, I hate it. Well, I like a lot, I like everybody, you know, coming out of Chicago, but if I had to pick one, my go-to guy, I like Ty Money. Uh, Ty Money is very uh, well-rounded. You know, I've had the, I've been, blessed enough to work with him more than one time, you know, so I've seen his work ethic up and close and personal, you know, his, his wordplay, his delivery, you know, he's just, you know, he's just an all around cat. The thing I like the most about Ty Money is because he's like a hybrid. He's like, uh, he, he has lyrics like an artist from my era, but he also has the the young he 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 caters to, to to the young stuff too you know he he can he can blend in and mix in good with them with the auto tune and all that type of stuff so I feel like he's just perfectly rounded. Uh, if I had a chance to sit down with them, uh, first of all I would tell them stay away from the drill scene. You know, because it, it's dangerous. It, it's uh, to me, in my opinion, I feel like drill is the worst thing to happen to music. Uh, period. Because now you have uh, people who are on there talking about real life situations, like real street. It's nothing but a platform to gang bang. You know, on on wax. It's just a platform to, to gang bang, and this is real stuff that's taking place. You know, these people are rapping about murders that are actually happening and disrespecting the dead and stuff like that. So first and foremost, I would say stay far away from drill because a lot of the most successful uh, drill rappers, you know, they don't make it out. Or when they do make it, they die. They have an untimely death, uh, just as we seen play out with King Von, uh, FBG Duck, and the list goes on, you know, so. I would tell them to stay away from that. Also, I would I would tell them uh, if you have the opportunity, branch out. You know, get out get outside of Chicago. You know, and move around. Take your talents elsewhere, and then bring it back. You know, once you once you get yourself established. Okay, to a certain extent, I do feel like it's a little pressure as a young artist uh, coming up watching the drill movement to try to uh, follow in those footsteps, especially with the success of uh, your Chief Keeps, your Lil Dirks, you know, and people like that, all the uh, all the founders of that movement. But uh, I definitely think there are other ways because Chica uh, drill is not the only thing that Chicago is known for. You know, Chicago has great uh, hip hop roots also. You know, we got a lot of backpack rap rappers out here. First of all, I really think that the most port important thing for an artist to think about, you know, a young artist, they just need to find themselves. I wouldn't try to follow any trend, you know, but I can see how it would be very easy to fall into that because it's the easiest thing to do. Uh, abs absolutely, you know, uh, growing up, you know, as a young artist, I've, I definitely felt the need 
to uh, get validations from the streets, you know. So all of my music was uh, had that had street content in it, you know. And uh, I just felt like it, it definitely, I definitely was putting the wrong energy into the universe, you know. And I and I do feel like because of that, I never reached the level that I was trying to reach because that never was what I was meant to do. You know, my voice is to be used for something else. You know, I have a higher purpose. So, you know, I feel like that content and catering to that small audience that I was trying to satisfy, which is the streets, I feel like that put a ceiling on me as an artist, you know? A breath of fresh air. You know, I plan on bringing a lot of heartfelt vibes to the music, I plan on restoring the soul, putting the soul back into the music. You know, everything that I'm saying is uh, about real life experiences. You know, it's uh, it's no glorification of uh, any of the wrong things. You know, I'm I'm sh I'm sharing trials and tribulations that I went through and had to overcome as a man. I'm I'm giving you uh, I'm bringing you into my full life from being a father. Uh, from being a husband, from being uh, involved in the streets, the, da the downfall, the pitfalls that come along with it, you know? So it's just like, right now, I'm trying to win, I'm trying to win the hearts of the people uh, with this project, you know? Uh, King's testimony is a testimony of a king and his journey to get to where he's at to be a king, his journey to, to royalty. You know, a lot of people don't talk about uh, the the path to becoming a king. You know, that that's a hard path that everybody can't walk. The king is the king is a title that everybody can't carry. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. So I just want to bring you guys into that side and, you know, let you know me a little bit more personally. I hope that you all walk away from uh, hearing the King's Testimony album and you feel like you know me a little bit more personally, you know. I want to take y'all on this journey with me. King's Testimony uh, will be available on all streaming platforms December 25th on Christmas. Merry Christmas to the streets, you know. I'm giving y'all that December 25th. You can go uh, follow me on uh, my, I have a I have a fan page on Facebook. It's uh, C A Brown. On Instagram, I'm Mister underscore C dot A dot Brown. On Twitter, I'm C A Brown official. So lock in with me. Get in tune. Also, go follow my uh, YouTube channel. Go subscribe to that. It's uh, Congo Originals. And you know, I see y'all on the 25th of December.